Bangkok. I'm eager to dive into all of its sights, sounds, smells, but it's the taste of Bangkok's smoky, tangy street food which really gets me excited. Hi, I'm Sarah Benjamin and this is Must Try Asia and we're going to go on a journey around Asia in search of each capital city's must try dish. I absolutely love Asian street food like chicken rice from Singapore, pho from Vietnam or adobo from the Philippines and I cannot wait to try all of them in their original setting. I'm amazed. Well Sarah, do you think this is the best pad thai you've ever tasted? Definitely. Mm, okay, well I want to bring you to the Mandarin Oriental mm -hmm. where they have the world famous restaurant Sala Rim Nam. They serve authentic Thai cuisine and I wanted to introduce you to the chef there who's going to show us his version of how to make Pad Thai. That sounds really exciting but my bar has been set really high today. So let me finish mm. this first and then we can move on. Okay, definitely. Must Thai Asia! Bangkok Street Pad Thai was delicious but I can't wait for the next stop in my food adventure here and discover how this national dish gets the five-star treatment. Oh my gosh! <laughs> If you fancy high-end Thai culture to go with your authentic Pad Thai, then Sala Rim Nam at the Mandarin Oriental is the right place. The Pad Thai here is loved for its premium fresh ingredients and authentic style. Every bite is a little surprise. Then we get spice of it all. Well, more spicy. Just the right mixture between sweet, spicy, exotic. Ten years ago when I was in Bangkok, it was all street food for me. And now, I get to visit the luxurious Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Before the restaurant gets really busy in the night, I'm here early in the day with Chef Malcolm Goh to learn about their signature Pad Thai. Apart from the restaurant serving authentic Thai cuisine, a little interesting to know is that the Mandarin Oriental mm -hmm. is the first luxury hotel in Bangkok. The first. The first. Wow. So they've been here for a long time, so they, they must be doing something right. You know, Malcolm, this really is a beautiful place. But, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Well, Sarah, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. We have Chef Narain, who's going to show us how Salam Rim Nam does their version of the Pad Thai. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to prepare the paste. Okay. okay. So you just slice your lot, the finer the better. So and all this into the blender. Just for the sun dry chili, you have to snip it, okay, okay. and soak in water. And now you put it into the blender. Yeah. Okay, we try to exclude the liquid okay. and then we blend it. Okay. After blending, we cook the paste. Okay. This is after the blending and the cooking. Yes. Can I smell it? Yes. After the blending, we just... It smells amazing. Okay. Now we continue with the sauce. So we have something salty, fish sauce. Fish you sauce. put it in here. Okay. And yes. this is the so, sour component, yes, which is the tamarind yes, of course, of course. And this is the oh, sweet okay. Asian. And that's the characteristic of all Thai cuisine, right? They have that balance of sweet, yes, savory, yes. We sour... Make a, we make a practice salty, of balancing yeah. all flavors right. in one single time. And then we cook this one. We just bring it to a boil. So the cooking time is less yes. than five minutes. Less than five minutes? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be eating very soon, basically, which is good news. So the, the difficult part is when you add the eggs, you have to keep scrambling. And you also have to keep scraping, making sure that the egg is not sticking to the wok. Uh, we never overcook seafood. It would be a robbery and yeah. it would be a shame. Now I'm adding the egg. You, you go the egg. Yes, correct. Correct? Correct. Keep With going. the prawns? Yes. Yes, keep okay. going. So just keep going. And you up. also have to make sure that it's not sticking. Okay, that's a bit hard. Oh. Yeah, that part is <laughs> difficult. That is hard. Okay. Now exactly. I'm adding the noodle. Okay. Okay. And so the sauce goes in straight away after yes, the noodles. Yes. And the paste. This part you also have to make sure that each of the single noodle is well coated. Mm -hmm. It would well not be Yeah. Okay. Don't leave any part white, okay? And the tofu. <laughs> and this is my yeah. first time cooking pad thai. Correct. Beautiful. Correct, huh? You can smell success. Okay? <laughs> that's it. That's, it smells that's so it. good. It smells that's so it. good. That's it. My mouth is really watering right now. I cannot wait to taste this. It's really good. Okay. Because of the contrast of the color, I also have one huge blue river prawn prepared. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said huge. <laughs> I love raw bean sprouts. It really 
adds, you know, some freshness. Yeah, to the that pie. crunch, fresh yes. crunch to it. And a wedge of lamb. That presentation well, that you don't nice. find yeah. anywhere else, yeah. definitely. Voila, here's the world famous niche of Thai cuisine, Pad Thai. Okay, I can't wait to try it. Should we go? Let's go. My culinary adventure in Bangkok has been nothing short of amazing so far. Malcolm and I can't wait to compare Sala Rimnam's Pad Thai with Long Pa Street version. What I think differentiates this from all the rest is the small details that the chefs put into this dish. And you're not going to see that on the street for yeah. sure. Let's see how it tastes. Yes, please. Mmm. Mmm. Has a nice texture. The it's really springy. Mm. It's kind of quite al dente. Mm. What you say for pasta? I don't think they really blanch it too long. It's just at the right time, mm. so you maintain that nice springy texture. Each strand of noodle is bouncy, but it's absorbed the flavor. Yeah, each one has like its own personality, its own integrity. Mm -hmm. How the chef does his mise en place? How mm -hmm. he separates everything? He fries the shrimp separately. He cooks the tofu differently, mm. and then he combines everything. So cooking like that maintains the integrity of each ingredient and it just harmonizes very well. What's different about this compared to the street version? The street version was almost more smoky. And everything and in that in that wok or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Did. So now we've tried two very different versions of Pad Thai. Shall we try making our own? If you're up for the challenge,